in the last video, I showed you how to connect your Wix site to GitHub. If you don't remember or didn't see that video, I'm gonna link to it. Of course, you can go to github.com and find the repository that Wix created for you over there. But here's a convenient shortcut. Just click this button, local dev setup, which I'll do now. And right over here, there's a link that will take you directly to your new repository. So this is the repository that was created for my Wix site. What's important to know is that the Wix online editor reflects the latest commit on this repository's default branch. Let me show you what I mean. So if I go into source pages, and then I go into the top file, which is what represents my homepage. For every page in your site, your linked repository will have a .js file, which represents the code that runs when that page loads. And the name of that file will be first your page name. So the home page will be home dot and then the page ID and then .js. So this is the code that's going to run when the home page loads. If we go back to the online editor, you can see that in the online editor, the file has the same name and the contents of that file should be the exact contents that you see in the online editor. So going back here, if we open this up, let's see if we have the same text and you can see that it is exactly the same content as this text field in the online editor. Now let's see how the online editor updates with changes to the GitHub repository. So I can edit this code directly in GitHub. So for example, let's do edit in place right over here. And I will just delete these comments and commit those changes. If we come back to the online editor, we get this pop-up that says the code was updated with the latest commits. And as you can see, the comments have disappeared. Now, of course, the same applies to code changes. So if you have code over there interacting with elements on your page, you can change the code logic as well. Now that's not going to be published onto your live Wix site until you hit publish right over here. Another cool thing about having your site on GitHub is that you can use the GitHub dot editor to navigate around and make changes to your site. Let me show you what I mean. So if you're anywhere in your site on GitHub, let's say we're in package.json and you hit dot or period, GitHub opens up this dot editor, which is basically a web version of VS code. Really the only difference is that it doesn't have compute. So you don't have a terminal and you can't install NPM packages and things like that, but you can totally navigate around your site, make edits, changes, use Git right over here and all the stuff that you're used to doing in VS code. So that's just a cute little trick that I wanted to show you. Okay, let's go back to the repository and you would clone this to your local machine the exact same way that you would clone any repository by clicking this code button and by choosing one of these options. It really doesn't matter which one. If you need some more information or help deciding which approach to use, GitHub has a little article linked right over here that you can click on. Alternatively, from the online editor, you can click this button, which will give you this pop-up with all these helpful instructions. The first block is the command you need to install the Wix CLI, which we'll get to in a bit. And the second chunk is the actual commands that you could just copy and paste to clone the GitHub repository to your local machine and CD into the working copy. The final command is the Wix dev command. And that's a very important command, which we will get to see in just a bit.